Greetings everyone and welcome back to Avon Colony, where we have moved on to the second campaign mission, Sandy Gulch. Now then, oh, that is a terribly built little area. Oh my lord, that hurts my brain. Welcome okay. to your new colony. Sandy Gulch is a new colony, it's in the near room of the great small Eastern settlement Barons. on Avon Prime. Hmm. Here is your first objective. Very well. There's very little... Oh my lord! Worm sign! Now, I don't believe they attack yet, but uh, from what I understand, they kind of meant to and eventually probably will. What are you up to? Where are you going to even sink back down? I can't tell. Yes, looks like you're going back down. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. There's a beard. Very well. Right, okay, so we've got to build the geotherm as our first thing. We'll get eight nanites for it. Very well. Sounds like a plan, actually. Look at the tiny Hi little there. people walking Morning. around. Hello, 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 and hello. Hope you're all doing very well today. Okay, then. Uh, let's speed up time. There's no need for us to wait this one out. There we are. Oops, wrong one. So that gives us a couple of nanites. Have we got any water here? A new mission is available. Oh, there we are. Build a water pump directly adjacent to your geothermal generator. There are some areas near the geothermal generator that have access to subterranean water and should be suitable for a water pump. Very well. I'm very glad that there are a couple. Oh, yes, there are only a few, though. Um, that would give me 0 0.6, 0 0.66. Hey, uh, let's pop it. Here, that way we can build out this little uh, tunnel over to it there, while still having some room down here. Because I can bring that out. Uh, I don't really get to move it very far, but... Mm. Yeah, we'll do it, because it's going to give us access to a couple of other areas. I don't want to block anywhere off, basically. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and preempt. We're going to need to uh, build a mine there, I fancy. But how are we doing for water? We're actually still doing fairly bad, so we're going to immediately upgrade that one. A new mission is available. Right, bring in a source of metals. Of course, we need these for nanites, and that is a super important thing. Let's get that going. Uh, how are we doing for power? We've got more than enough right now for what, we, what we're doing. Uh, thankfully, we do have a little oasis here that we're going to be able to uh, expand out into, I suspect. We've got some Zorium over there, another little oasis there. All right, we've got a couple of places that I suspect we're going to be able to farm. Though that being said, there may be some of the native plant life that prefers deserty environs. Where's the next mission? I mean, if you're not going to... Oh, there we, we go. We have a new request for you, boss. Uh, it's to start manufacturing our own nanites. I've already got a... Uh, spot selected for those. Well, that being said, I could build it here. And that might be worth doing, because I'm going to have to build down there anyway to get to that other geotherm. So, sure, I'll build this out like so. There we go. I've consulted with Commissioner Veronica, and I'd like to make a few recommendations as to how to best okay. serve your people. Yes, the green fertile land, I suspect that this is going to be where we would be uh, branching out to. Um, sure, let's uh, build that up around here. So that we can build on either side of it, basically. We're also going to want to uh, build a, a drone. Extend our range out here. Um... You know what, let's place down some of our farms first, I would say. Now, as for greenhouses, is there anything that does okay in the sand? I'm just wondering. No, pretty not much. Well, some of them are kind of okay. They're, they're on the borderline. I could place this around here, though, and we get a pretty solid return. Wow, the rice is really bad there, but not so bad there. So, okay, we'll get a greenhouse there. And then I'd like another greenhouse on this side. No, melons is a no. Oh, wow. Uh, no, that's what we've already got, I believe. Corn. Um, sure, we'll get some barley, I guess. 7.4 would not be too bad. And we can speed things up again. There we are. 
And we should see... Get this. There we go. And we are getting ourselves some rice. Perfect. We need two um, quinoa farms, though. But I always prefer to get at least a little bit of diversity going. Now, the quinoa we can use regular farms for. Um, 7.5, 7.8. Yeah, sure. We'll pop that one there. And then another one on this side. Exactly the same thing. And then we'll drop down a drone port. Um, sure, we'll have one right there. Yeah. Already getting uh, the winter on us. Now, the winter... The one thing I really like about this game is winter is basically nighttime, and summer and spring and all of that is daytime. Basically, when the sun goes down, you have the season of winter. Nice and simple. Well done. I'm uh, we would probably like some potash, actually. And I would like these places to be using the potash. There we go. No, oh, no, oh, I want the other one. There we are. Perfect. Right, new missions. A new mission is available. Need more colony soon. These old inflatable hams in your colony aren't going to be able to house too many people. Very well. I need to build a habitat. That does make an awful lot of sense, to be fair. Uh, sure, we'll pop it right there, and it's quite central to everything, then. There we go. We've got two new missions. We have a new request for you, boss. Um, we need to expand our storage capacity. That I've consulted with Commissioner and Veronica, we need and I'd like to make a few recommendations. Center. Well, we'll go for the storage capacity first. And that I could build down here, for example. But uh, that would mean I wouldn't be able to run roads through here, but really, is there anywhere there that I could run roads to? I don't think so. So, how about we pop that one down there, then? We'll just connect up to it. There we are. And then we'll slow things down whilst we go ahead and build an immigration centre. I'm really, really disliking the way that everything down here is so higgledy-piggledy, but there's not an awful lot I can do about it right now. Another day, another credit. Uh, I would kind of like to have the immigration center though on its own branch of road and in fact I would very much like to hook that up there there we go that will be wonderful now we've got some redundancy if these things get smashed by a lightning strike or something then power and everything else can still move around the other side uh, let's go ahead and collect this though 120 gold 175 potash and 150 nanites yeah I think that would be rather awesome actually all things considered. Let's speed things up. Immigration center is almost complete. And, oh, winter warning. Why have you slowed down? I, oh, well, actually, I can see why you slowed down. We're actually very low on power there. Okay, storage is done. We've got a geotherm right here, though. So we could just build out and then up along the other side, I think. Oh, would run out of nanites. That is unfortunate. That is quite unfortunate. Well, hopefully that is going to be finished soon. There we go. I hope you're keeping and the happiness up. of your colonists in mind. Got a group of colonists. That shouldn't. Be too a new hard. mission is available. And now that you have a few farming structures in place, you have a good source of food. Farming structures, like all structures, operate more efficiently at higher structural upgrade tiers. Select one of your farms and upgrade it. Okay, upgrade a farm or a greenhouse, though, this one, which is quite nice. Um, the drone has been summoned, so we should get a bunch of stuff from there. There we go. Perfect. Let's get this down there, and then get another geotherm up and running. We'll go straight for a tier 2. Now, one thing that I'm aware of, we're going to need to worry about our air quality. It's starting to fall already. So let's go ahead and place down a tier 2 um, intake vent over there. And where's the next one? Where do we have another intake vent? Right there. We'll upgrade that one, I think. There we go. That should do us. Alright, and how's our nanites going? We're actually starting to stockpile, so let's upgrade. Coming over here. How's the capacity on 41%? We're actually very far away from 
any particular need to worry about upgrading that. Alright, well, I would quite like to upgrade our rice, honestly. So, let's go ahead and upgrade that. And you know what? While we're here anyway, we may as well upgrade both. So, it's not like we're not going to need more food in the future. Right, insufficient power, but hopefully everything will finish building in just a moment and we'll be fine. There we go. That is almost complete. And... Come on. Come on. Wow, you take forever. Scallywags. There we go. That's a little better. Right, we've got a reward. Is satisfactory. Oh. I've been authorized to provide your colony with I would actually prefer the immigrants right now. Honestly. That will be a big help to us. I know I could have used all the things. All of those things would have been a big help to us, ultimately. But that especially. But there we are. We've built a second drone hub. Already done that one. Watch me get a bug now, because I'm building faster than the uh, game is expecting me to. Okay, gathering the pod. We've already done it. And a new mission. Okay, build a trade hub. Very well. I will try and do my best. Where would the trade hub be the best place to? How about we build up an area over here? So. And then we can have a trade hub. Go. Maybe over here? Because th that way I can put another um, dock there, another immigration center. Well, this is going to be further and further away from this hab, uh, the habitat, which is going to be a little bit of a problem, but mm, we should be okay for a while. There we go. Now, what are we going to start needing to trade here? I need your help to balance Very our well. supplies on you the colony. Exchange gold for corn. Well, that's fine. I've got a bunch of gold. Here you go. We have some thoughts on I how to best expand your colony. colony. Okay, three additional structures. I like those kinds of missions where they're just like, oh, build whatever you think you need. Because I am totally down with that. Let's actually look at air quality for the for the moment. 100%. Wow, okay. That is amazing. Very happy with that. Um, what about our population? If people, well, general happiness is actually fairly low. So I'm going to go ahead and build a park. Because a park will also improve the overall air quality. So we're going to place this park um, we could place it central. I would like it to be central. You know what? Let's place it there. There we go. We'll get a, a park which will generally improve people's happiness. What's uh, health like? Average health is starting to fall. And I don't like that particularly. So how about we pop down the hospital right there. There we go. So with my free um, well, they're not really free. I'm still paying for them. But uh, with my uh, free hand to choose what I want to build, I'm trying to improve the overall, um, just the, the living conditions for my colonists right now. And I think a bar grill as well. We'll pop that one down there. And this one can just help. It can be on a bistro mode just so that it helps with the overall food quality, I think. A new mission is available. We need to build an energy battery to store some of the uh, colony's spare electricity. Energy battery can increase the efficiency of up to eight adjacent power generating buildings. So try to place it next to your solar panels or your geothermal generator. Very well, I will do my best. We have also done expanding, which is good. We've done gold for corn and growing the colony. Reach a population of 50. Well, we have a new trade mission available. Quinoa Maybe seems to grow particularly well colony. in the dry conditions of Sandy Gulch, and there's a lot of demand for it up here on the colony ship. So we just need to start uh, trading quinoa. I have a request for you from the inhabitants of the colony. Uh, next objective is 100 population. Very well. Uh, we'll stop trading that for corn. We'll start exporting our quinoa for melons. That will be fine. Okay, so I'm imagining the uh, average health is already going up. Average happiness also going up quite quite sharply, actually. Let's improve the overall uh, uh, room for people to occupy. Because we're going to want to start growing a little bit faster than we have up to now, I think. Uh, 
fact, we're going to place that down there. We might even have a third in a little while, because we really do need to expand. We are expanding remarkably slowly. Uh, as for a battery... Oh, I can fit a battery there. Really? That's impressive, actually. Sure, I'll fit a battery there. It won't do a whole lot. But, yeah, we'll have it. And I'll just go ahead and I'll upgrade it all the way, just so that it can store more power. I will literally just use it as a battery. And that's all we want from it. There we are, battery's well done. done. I'm pleased with uh, the 12 immigrants, please. We want to get more people down here on the colony. There we are, geothermal upgrade, already done. A new mission is available. Okay, I think we need to increase our food income. If you hover over the food indicator, it should tell you the current food production in units per colonist per hour. Build any combination of farms or greenhouses and upgrade your existing ones until you reach plus 24 food per hour. Wow, okay, that's actually pretty, uh, pretty uh, expensive upgrade, that one. Okay, well, uh, let's upgrade these first and foremost. Um, we are going to want... We're going to want more water, let's be honest. Oh, wow. There's a lot of water up here. You know what? Sure, I'll place down one water pump there and hook up to it. Because we are going to need a lot more water. There we go. That is all done. We've got we two have missions. A new request for you, boss. Construct a research center. Very well. And I have a new sip of corn from one of our other colonies. We need you to take it off our hands. Fair enough. Let's get rid of those. We're going to start having quite a lot of trade opportunities, so I'm going to go ahead and build a second trade hub. How are we doing for room? Uh, we're not doing that good, actually. Let's upgrade. Oh, we're going to need to wait on that. 14 nanites is what we need, and we're making very, very little. Very little indeed. Mm, we're going to need to fix that one, I think. All right, let's... Uh, Slow everything down again. We'll want to upgrade that pretty sharpish. Any more mining opportunities? There's a couple of geotherms. There's a mining node over there, over there, over there. Anything close by? Is that anything? No. Mm, that's annoying. All right. Well, we're going to have to expand out in this direction then because we need those mines in order to allow us to build more nanites. So, let's go ahead. We need 22 nanites to build that. We can wait for now. But, we now have the means to run... Um, trade rice. But the means now to run two separate trade offers at the same time. Which is actually pretty nice for us. We can build down there and get another geotherm. Power is not going to be a problem on this level. It doesn't seem it. However, what is going to be a problem is the nanites. That is really going to hurt us for a long time. Uh, the research lab will have to wait, I'm afraid. We only need this to be able to expand out our network, so I'm not going to worry too much about that. Oh, we're actually at the population cap. Alright, now that's good. That's very good, but it's going to take 29. It's upgrade. Well, I guess it's worth it. We will get that one done as a priority. There we go. So that we can continue getting all of our jobs properly filled. Um, no, we're going to ex we're going to focus our nanites on building up our mining operation. I think I think that's a little bit more important right now. Can we get to that? No trains in range. Wow, ninety vodka. I approve. Storage is full. Really? Well, that's quite rubbish. Hmm. Okay, is there a way for me to slow that down? Can I disable it? Can't deactivate. Oh, drat. Why can I not? Right, let's have a quick look. Can I get rid of something? Can I just bin a resource? Because otherwise, that's a really, really awkward position to be in. Because I, I need that space. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. I absolutely need to be able to store more stuff. The nanites, specifically. Because otherwise, it just fills up with rubbish. That is really, really unfortunate. And the trade's always giving me more than I said. Which makes a lot of sense, to be fair. Let's make sure that we're trading the rice out. 
I mean, we would never want to take a bad deal, but at the same time... We're going to need to upgrade you for 14 nanites. Let's just uh, try and race toward that and then upgrade this as soon as we can. Crisis? No, it's, a it's not a crisis. You're fibbing. Telling me lies. Come on. There we go. Upgrade. Fantastic. Okay, so we should be a little bit better off with regards to storage at the very least. We do still need another storage plant, though. So as soon as we get 26 nanites, I'm going to build a whole new plant right down here. And that's going to have to be our focus there. I could build another one there, but... Well, no, I'll keep that for some services, I think. We're just going to have to wait this one out, though, I'm afraid. Our population is almost there, but not quite. And it's not going to be there for quite some time. But there we go. There's another storage area, and that should help us out quite a lot. Right, then. We want to bring this out. We will build down there. We will build up there. And it'll all look very, very intentional. And to a small degree, that kind of was. But uh, I wasn't really sure if there was going to be a gap there. But uh, the moment I saw that there was, I was like, Aha! My plans have all come to fruition. And we've got two mining nodes up there that we can tap, which would be great. We just need enough to build another one. There we go. Oh. Ah, oh, really? I'm just out of range? Well, that's just annoying. Annoying as sin, that one. Alright. I guess I will place this down here then. How far up can I place it? Um, about there, apparently. And that would be ideal. There we go. Right, let's get out there and start building that up. This will give us more access to... Uh, these mining nodes. Please go and grab this stuff for me. No drones in range? What are you talking about? Put a drone right here, you scallywag. You lie! You're telling me massive fibs! What? Is this not. <gasps> no one lit. No one working there! Oh, baby! You Ah! Drag. Okay, well I need to build a research center, but I also need a new uh, habitat, so we're just going to go ahead and we're going to plant that down right there, and draw out a road around it, and then run this up here. There we go, and one more, and there we are. Right, there we go, we should get enough workers, my lord, down to 63% jobs filled, that is atrocious. It's time All for right. a referendum election. Referendum time. Just what I I wanted. hope you're keeping the happiness. I hope I am too. 84%. That's not too bad. Average health is 100%. No one is ill. I am very pleased. I feel we're doing a good job with this. Very, very good job. We definitely need another mine right there. And then we will uh, pick up all of that vodka. There we go. And then we'll upgrade our story so we don't have to worry I've about it. I've consulted for a while. with the inhabitants of the colony. And they've too given much crime. We can barely breathe in here. It's too crowded. What? Really? Have I over? Have I uh, not been paying enough attention for long enough? Oh, yeah, kind of. And the air quality is okay up here, but over this side is getting quite bad. All right. Now let's. Given that, then let's invest in some uh, heavier air filters. And. Sure, we'll have a, just a regular air intake valve right there. There we go. That should that should work for us. Uh, I wouldn't mind this being upgraded, honestly. So we've got two drones out out over there. Now they did also mention that they were having some problem with crime. Oh my lord! Crime is atrocious. We need to get on that right away. Let's uh, speed up time a wee bit and actually have a look. Are we doing alright? We're actually gaining iron, which means that we need another nanite manufactory. Um, we won't put it down there, though. There's a referendum election but coming up soon, and I have some here. feedback there from your go. colonists. Thank you. And I would like it upgraded, so that we can get nanites as fast as we can take them. There we are. Now, we definitely need a security drone. And that's actually a fairly good place. It's right in the middle there. should help us out massively. And in fact, I'm going to upgrade it straight away to get the extra drone. 
I'm not going to upgrade it further because boss, we're already got issues with, you in with the uh, filling all these jobs. All right, I'm fairly happy with that. How are we doing for food? Food's not so great, but it is winter. So, well, actually, no, no. It, oh, yes, yes, it is. I just haven't seen the uh, effect around the edges. Well, that's okay, then. Um, in terms of farms, let's have a look. Should we, should we build another broccoli, for example? I don't think we're going to get very much broccoli, no matter where we build it. Nevertheless, let's, let's give it a try. So we've got um, barley. We have rice. Quinoa. Two quinoa, in fact. Some broccoli. Can we get melons, anyway? Is there anywhere on this planet that is okay for melons? It really does not appear to be the case. Maybe very much up there, but that's that's about it. If we go for farms, then, what kind of odds are there that we get any decent amount of melons? No, we're just never going to get, get good melons, unfortunately. How about uh, this for corn? Very low yields. Mm, slightly better, but still kind of bad. Five corn. How about a farm? 4.5, 4.8. Yeah, we're just rubbish for corn as well. 7.5 in here, though, that being said. And still, I'd rather keep that for other things. Um, 5.1, 4.8. I really super like getting some corn, but... Okay, well, we'll pop it there. Hope for the best, and we'll run that further up. Right, insufficient power, something was destroyed, let's go over there. Ah, of course, I suspected that might be the case. Okay. Well, all things said and done, we're not doing terribly bad. We've actually got some un unemployed, really, my lord. How did that happen? And we're starting, well, we're not doing too Congratulations badly, on your right? referendum victory, Hooray! boss. 82% in favour. I am very pleased with this. Right, well, it's time for us to finally build our bloody research center, isn't it? Um, we could build that over here. And sure, I'm I'm okay with that. Let's go for that then. Still not amazing air quality. Um, pretty nice quality over there, but we definitely do need to improve it still around here. So let's go ahead and place down... Level 2 air filter right in the middle of the colony, right there. In fact, we're going to upgrade this one. Um, this one can also be upgraded. As can this one. There we go, that should help out a fair bit. Right, are we stockpiling? No, we have now completely exhausted our stockpile of metals. I have a request for you from the inhabitants of the colony. Okay. Uh, please build a skyscraper. Very well, I I've consulted this. with Commissioner Veronica, and I'd like to make a few in this area are dangerous, as, to how to as they can emit toxic people. gases. Place more geothermal generators around your colony to halt these emissions. We will consider this objective complete when your colony has four geothermal generators. This will take some time. Be sure to provide each geothermal generator with the necessary structure nearby to provide housing for workers and maintain high-quality Hey. I need your help to balance our supplies on the okay, colony ship. Uh, some beer for you shortly. Very well. Okay, well, apparently we've got to get four geotherms. That shouldn't actually be too hard for us, all things told. We've got one, two, three, four. Yeah, that is actually going to be a very easy one for us to complete. I'll branch this off there. And we'll get a geotherm right about there. And another one just down here. We're not going to go for the highest tier geotherms. Simply because we don't need to just yet. But uh, we will get the best uh, air intake uh, valves. Since... Oop. What's happening? Game speed reduced. Well, what's the problem? Oh, insufficient housing. That's not a crisis. But since we're going to be building the geotherms on these vents. And apparently that will prevent the vents from being terribly... Bad, we can just build the air intake. However, from what I understand, that's pretty much the, the downside because it's, it's more or less what it explains. In that these vents can take in toxins and stuff like that, whereas the filters, the much more expensive, cannot. Um, complete energy. We need more workers. We have some thoughts on how to best expand Brand our co colony. Very well. I need a skyscraper. This much is known. It's going to cost 64 nanites, though. 
That is also known, and frankly, very bad. Where on earth will I be able to fit it? I guess I could put it down there. Or I could put it... Oh, it's almost like I planned it. I assure you I did not, however. That was just very good fortune. Okay, so there we go. Skyscraper complete. Got a couple of nanites, I'm sure. Let's go ahead and build another one of these right there. We should see. Is air quality generally getting better? There's still a little bit of a drop around the central area. Not the best, but we can probably fix it. Um, let's go ahead and build... Well, that's many storage. Let's go ahead and build a high tier... air filter right about there. And likewise down here. High tier air filter please. There we go. That should do. We'll also upgrade this one. There we are. Right. Loads of worker issues. Can't acquire workers. Very well. Let's have a look. Yeah, we need a lot more people. I hope you're keeping the happiness of your colonists in mind. It's grow its 200. Very well. A new mission is available. Sandy Gulch may be relatively infertile, but it's rich in mineral resources. Place mines or laser mines on iron and potash, de potash deposits around your colony to exploit its richness. We will consider this objective complete once your colony has a total of five mining structures. Also make sure you have habitat buildings and air in uh, filter or intake fans not too far from any of your mines. Have I got more potash? Have I got any? With these... That is... What are we? Oh, it's a potash mine. That's an iron mine. Iron deposit, iron deposit, okay. And I need to build out to these, because I uh, was under the assumption that I had the resources that uh, were necessary for construction of... The nanites, but that may not be the case. Uh, we can't build there because it's blocked. Can't build there because it's blocked. We'll make it look intentional. I do this, and then we'll build up there. And no one ever need be any the wiser. There we go. We'll go with the uh, level two mines here. In fact, we're going to upgrade these. There we go. Also upgrade that. Alright. Now, we are actually going to need larger storage. So, I'm going to just place that down now. Quite badly, in fact. Impending structural failure. Oh, we've won our referendum. I need to turn on the policy to automatically repair everything. Please. Sufficient housing. Building breakdown. Get out there, please. Repair everything. Especially these ones, because they are super important. There we go. We'll just expressly get those sorted. Right. Really, are we at insufficient housing? You're, you're kidding me. Wow, we are. My lord. Well, let's get that sorted then, shall we? And, uh, get things happening a little bit faster, please. Make sure this is get repaired. Uh, well, repairs are requested. Oh, I have a have request a for you from the inhabitants of the Reach colony. Reach 200? Wow, we're Hello, growing Chief. really fast. I have a new opportunity. Well then, you've built a viable mining colony and your tenure on Sandy Gulch is almost complete, really. Your next objective is to export 200 of any combination of iron or potash. Wow, is that all that we need to do? I must confess, I hadn't really paid that much attention. Alright. I am completely okay with that. Let's have a look. Um, let's explore potash and iron. I guess. We'll just get those... Well, actually, no. We No, we can, actually. We've got plenty of nanites. We're good. We're good for that. We may actually complete all of this in just one episode. That would be kind of bonkers, but all right. Uh, what am I trying to... I still haven't even built a research center. Oh, no, I have. I lied. I lied. Completely light. Senses have detected creep spores approaching the colony. From where? From over there. Very well. We need some sort of anti creep defense then. Uh, let's see. We will go for tier one creep. Uh, sorry, uh, drone tower there. And we'll build this out. 
and connect over here, like so. And then we'll build probably another one, yeah, just there. Here, though, we're going to pop down another air filter. There we go. That should pretty much take care of all of our air issues forever. Right. Build a chemical plant is the next task. That's what's flashing at me. Okay. We can easily fix that up. There we go. Now, how are our population doing? 82% happiness. They're very, very healthy people. Housing capacity, most of it has been used, but jobs are... We're almost at 100% jobs filled. Oh, I'm so happy about that. Um, next up, you know what? I think we'll do something like this. And then down here, we can build another group. Uh, we've got more than enough nanite, so that one is clearly due to not having enough construction drones, so that's fine. We'll build another construction drone yard there, and that will leave us three blocks there, which is exactly what I wanted. Three. Uh, we'll actually take that down. That's fine. We'll have another skyscraper right there, I think. Another tier two skyscraper. Right bang smack there. Here come the creep. Not particularly happy about seeing them. Uh, they've already latched on there, and they've gone straight for my uh, skyscraper. You scallywags, you. Unfortunately, my drones are all off elsewhere. There we go. Sorted. We should reach the 300 population milestone before we complete the level, which is going to be nice, I think. Now, down here... Uh, sure, we'll build this out... Like so. Ah, look at that. Perfect. We could, if we wanted to, actually even build across there. Um, do we want to? There's like a little mini quest. I think I kind of do, actually. Let's do that. Let's connect up lots of different... Oh, really? Oh, I think that's actually because I don't have a drone there. Let's go ahead and plonk one down right about there. Because then we can connect up to these geotherms if we want to later on. Here we are. Distillation. Received reward for complete distillation. We have a new trade mission available. Okay, colony ship has run out of beer. This is an emergency. Colony. Please export 150 units of beer. Oh my god, right now. Very well, very well, very well. Let's get uh, beer on the go. There we are. We'll even increase this one. We'll upgrade it. Uh, do we have enough room to build another trade post? Um, We don't need to, actually. We'll just export the beer straight away, because we're only actually working on one. I could work on the iron if I want to. And that would make it a little bit faster, but eh, I'm not that worried about it. I'm not going to upgrade my creep towers, because we don't get attacked by creep often enough to need to. There we go. Getting that fixed. And... No? Why can't I build this out? Near drone station has no workers. Ah, right, okay. I have to wait on that one then. Housing capacity at 72%. Uh, we should be able to get this done fairly soon. So let's go ahead and speed things up to the highest level. It's fine. We'll get more workers shortly. Don't worry. Don't worry. In fact... Oh, toxic gas emissions. A nearby geothermal vent is about to erupt. Once the toxic gases reach your colony, they will cause major air quality problems and are especially likely to seep in through intake fans. Note that geothermal generators prevent toxic emissions from any geothermal vents that they cover. Ah, scallywags. Are there any workers there? No, not yet. Mm. Okay, well, let's actually have a look at how this goes. Oh, it's blowing in that direction. Oh, thank goodness it's blowing the wrong way. Ah... Wait, that is not good. Please tell me it can't reach that far. Otherwise, this is going to be an issue. Let's watch. Is it? Wow, that is that has got a crazy, crazy reach. Okay, yeah, that's going really bad. Like, super bad, super fast. Oh, dear. Well, I mean, it's almost over, at, at, at least. That's not really a good thing, I guess, but... Oh my lord. Slowly recovering, kind of. Wow. It's the lowest I've ever seen it get. 
Okay, well, uh, we've completed uh, the city. 300. There we go. We've also completed exporting beer. Fantastic. We have run out of potash on both. That is not so great. Well, that was actually kind of horrific. Um, thankfully, we do have this to prevent the worst of it getting to the rest of the colony, but wow, that was bad. Uh, we'll pop down an extra air intake fan down there. I know you might be wondering, well, why are you putting an air intake fan? Oh, I was about to say there's no geotherms over here. Wait, wait, no, there it is. A bit of a derp. Uh, there's potash over there. Don't really care for it, though. You know what? I'm going to start trading iron as well, though, because we don't need any more nanites than we've currently got, more than likely. There we go. All the way over there. We will drop down geotherms. Just level 1 geotherms. Doesn't need to be anything more fancy than that. We just need a way to prevent this from uh, getting any, uh, any more toxic events. And the intake valve there. Again, we don't need it to be anything fancy over there. We've got plenty of air purification going on on this side. Now, how are we doing in terms of our population? Uh, yeah, we're actually doing fairly well there. Air quality is fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I hope missions? you're keeping the happiness of your colleagues wow. in mind as you grow. Your I'm not sure we're going to have enough food soon. I need your help to balance our supplies okay. on the colony ship. Entire oatmeal and groji beans. Uh, okay, I could look into that for you. Groji beans and entire oatmeal. Alright, sure. What do we need to do now? Build a mill. Let's get that just placed there. Of course, no workers. That does not surprise me. We clearly need a lot more intake. Now that's going to be an issue for our workers for a little while, while we uh, build up the workers there, but once we've got them, should be good. Right, so, we need Groji Beans and Antari. You know what? It looks pretty good over here if we build it all around here, honestly. Maybe there, perhaps? There? Yeah, we'll go with the entire there. And then Roji as well. It's uh, not too terribly bad. We'll pop it there. There we go. That should be enough for us. There we are. We should start getting in a lot of people now. Show overlay. Where's the worst air quality? Still terrible over here. It's probably going to be terrible for a long time. Let's go ahead and try and help out by dropping in a tier 3 air filter. That will very quickly sort this out. But it's going to take a while for people to move in there. That's actually thinking about it, it's probably why it hasn't improved is because the, all of the new fans Hello, that I built Chief. haven't actually have had anyone working there. Especially the plant knows entirely, can grow entirely, it's initially inedible, but the mill wants to make a bunch of entirely oatmeal. Let's go and set that up then. Uh, that's not made there. Where is it made? Oh, we just exported, actually. Never mind. Uh, no, I think we're going to be waiting on getting all of this set out first. Okay, so it's just a matter of As waiting recall, for some time to pass. the Constitution guarantees your citizens the right to vote on their colony oh, governor. Be fine there. It looks like that time is upon us again. There we go. With all of these immigration centers, we should see a fair old number of immigrants joining us shortly. How far off? 90%. Okay, I think we actually need... I've consulted with the inhabitants of the colony, and they've given me habitat. some feedback that might Probably help. Probably not another skyscraper. Another habitat will do, I think. In fact, let's place it over here. Bang smack there, I think. 
whilst that's being set up, let's go for a VR center. Try and help with people's entertainment demand. There we go. 231 units of entertainment. Fantastico. There's a referendum election coming up soon, and I oh, have some man. feedback from your colonists. Go ahead and build a bar, and we'll set this one up as a lounge, I think. Here we are, so we'll just help out with everyone's mood. I have a special assignment for you. One more sol. Okay, so we just have to hold out for a year, and then we win. Okay, we've finished exporting all the potash. Yeah. So what I've compiled are we some feedback to now? help guide you in the that. upcoming like referendum election. Entire oatmeal, which I should be able to start making right away. In fact, let's upgrade this place and make it even faster. We should have no problem with getting people into this colony at this point, at all. Yeah, we've we've got 100% of our jobs filled. We're going to end up with a little bit over 10% unemployment, though. That is unacceptable. At, uh, on no level is that acceptable. We are going to upgrade all of our geotherms to help with that. That does not matter. Go. Let's get this one upgraded as well. We've got so much power just from geotherms. I mean, I, when we first set up this colony, I was eyeing up the uh, deposits of Zorium, but it's like, yeah, we don't need that at all on any level whatsoever. Uh, let's get this upgraded. In fact, let's, I wish there was like some way of auto-upgrading, like clicking all buildings, upgrade. That would be so remarkably handy. Oh, well. Uh, that's fine. We'll get these upgraded, though. May as well. Now, that should get us some more jobs. I'm thinking, unless it doesn't increase the amount of workers, which would be unfortunate if that were the case. I have a request for you from Go. the inhabitants uh, of the Wow, colony. okay. Reach 500, I'll be thoroughly impressed. Well, I, I wouldn't mind, you know, achieving that. It would be rather grand, I, I do confess. Uh, where's my hospital? Let's upgrade this one. Go ahead and upgrade that if you would be so kind. As for need a bit more storage, I'd fancy. Congratulations oh, on your referendum go. victory, boss. We win! Hooray! We went twice over! The referendum and then the game! There we are. All in one extra long episode. I could have split this up into two, I do apologize, but I just got in the zone and you know how it goes. Um, my cursor has got something stuck on it. There we are. Right, so we can see our score. Housing capacity, just slowly climbing there. Health, more or less stayed at the top the whole time. Happiness, oh, it's actually starting to, to drop down quite a lot there. Um, uh, that was largely due to the unemployment, I suspect, because it happened right at the end. Energy supply, crazy. Air quality, wow, that dip there. Food variety was probably pretty good most of the game, honestly. Storage, yeah. I wish there was some way of just dumping storage if you needed to, because that's a worry. Jobs filled. It wasn't until more or less the very end of the game that we got 100% again. Oh, you guys. Let's actually have a look at that. Oh, my good lord. <laughs> this is a den of... It's, it's a hive of scum and villainy. That's what this is. This is terrible. This is not a good place to live. Unless he is some sort of mafia boss, then it's amazing. Anything you want will be yours. So, uh, yeah, first first colony, just a paradise for general people and uh, Sandy Gulch. Yeah, um, it's it's nice if, if you're like a criminal and on top of all of the other criminals. If you're at the top of the criminal chain, not so nice if you're not a criminal. In fact, if you're not a criminal, don't come to the city, ever. Just avoid the city like the plague. I've got one police station in this entire city. Why did I think that that was going to work? What 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 madness claimed me to make me think that that would work? Oh well. But there we are. That is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you enjoyed and will be joining me 
for the next. Let's uh, actually speed it up, so just in case there's something to say. Oh, no, there's nothing to say. The was added to your colleagues' individual award for completing well done. If you can keep your research center functioning or just use one more um, for just one more soul, we will consider your tenure in Sandy Gulch a success and assign the colony to another governor. We will then place you in command of a new Arctic colony at Azra Falls. Mission objective, one more soul. Yep, well, there we are. We have one, and it is off to... Uh, our new Arctic colony. I hope you've enjoyed this episode and we'll be joining for the next. But until then, take care, everyone.